hello and welcome to my video and in today's video I am going to show you how you can provision an EC2 Windows instance and how you can access your Windows instance by using Microsoft Remote Desktop Client. My name is Mohamed Azam Badar and I am an AWS Certified Solutions Architect and please remember to subscribe my channel and like and share this video and ask me any question in comments section. So let us get started. Here I am an AWS console because I recently visited EC2 dashboard so it is showing here. If for you if it is not showing here click on find services and search EC2 and this is top one just click on this one and here I am an EC2 dashboard first of all check select your decision uh, region where you want to uh, provision your EC2 instance for this demo purpose I am going to provision my windows instance in London region now right now I am in London region click on launch instance select your a uh, windows ami i am going to select windows free tier eligible ami for this demo purpose instance type for this demo purpose t2 micro free tier eligible is fine and these are all networking settings and i am going to launch this windows instance in my default vpc and i am going to select first subnet and I'm going to keep all other settings as it is and click on next add storage and this is our windows root device which is normally called root volume and it is by default have 30 gig size which is fine and these are volume types and AWS offering four different types of uh, volume types the provisioned IOPS is for heavy workloads and provisioned IOPS SSD IO2 is for extra heavy workload which has uh, very high IOPS and for this demo purpose I am going to select general purpose G, uh, SSD volume type delete on termination if you want to retain this root volume once your EC2 instance is terminated you can uncheck this one and your uh, you can retain this root volume but I am going to check this one and encryption for security purpose if you want to encrypt this root volume you can select this encryption key KMS key and your root volume is going to encrypt by default I am not going to do that I am going to select not encrypted next add tags I am going to call this windows security group I'm going to create a new security group and I'm going to enable RDP access and from my own IP review and launch launch I do not have any key pair in this region I'm going to create new key pair I'm going to name this Azam key pair and remember to download this key pair because this is your only chance to download your key pair I'm going to download in desktop folder save and launch instances view instances and this is our Windows EC2 server which is getting ready and now instance stays, uh, state is pending and let me check it is still pending and I am waiting for this instance to become available now it has uh, changed his uh, state and now it is in running state select this one and these are all this uh, details for this EC2 instance and these are general details then security details networking storage status checks and this EC2 have passed all both status checks and it is showing running 
and now I show you how you can connect to this EC2 instance uh, by using RDP. The first thing I click on App Store and select Microsoft Remote Desktop and it is showing open because I already downloaded this Microsoft Remote Desktop client so it is showing open. If it is not already installed on your system this is going to show get and you have to click on this and get and I close this one and I search Microsoft Remote Desktop click on this one and this one this is our Microsoft Remote Desktop now I come back here and click on connect click on RDP client and download remote desktop file I download on my desktop folder save and now I need to get this password click on this one click on browse desktop select uh, key choose this one go down and decrypt password and this is our password copy this password and now come back in remote desktop and import from RDP file select this one and import this is our EC2 server click on continue paste password continue RDP client is making a uh, connection with our Windows server here we have accessed our Windows server through RDP client and as you can see it is all working fine if you can click on this PC and you can see these are all your local disk and their files and these are all your details and this marks the end of our video please let me know if you have any question in comments section thank you bye